Hello friends. In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily pick up objects in 3D Studio Max using link constraints. To save time, I have a pre-animated sequence and we're going to have our rigs pick up the sphere. The first step is to have the hand placed in the proper position. Then select the sphere. Now go to animation on top. Then select constraints. Then link constraint. You will see a dashed line emerge from the sphere. Connect it to the palm of the hand. If you go to link parameters on the right, you will see a new panel has opened. And that under target, you'll see that a link was created at frame 73. If you move the hand, you will see that the sphere moves with it. But there's a bug in 3D Studio Max. If you move the timeline back one frame and click Link to World, the sphere disappears. To fix it, you have to press Undo, then click Delete Link and basically start all over. So set your timeline and click Link to World. Move one frame forward and click Add Link and select a hand. Now the sphere moves with the hand only from the frame selected. Now to give the sphere to the other character, make sure the sphere is in the right position. Then click add link and select the other character's hand. And now when the character places the sphere on the table, Select Link to World. You could also select Add Link and link it to the table. But as a best practice, keep the Add Link constraints to moving bones only. Now if you press play, you'll see that the cat rig character picks up the sphere, then hands it to the biped character, who places it back on the table. Once done, just click anywhere in the viewport to exit out of the link constraints panel. And that's it. And if you like this short tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.